Hey, uh, Gandalf0987 here, and I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but uh, I got a ton of, I've been picking up a lot of new games and stuff, so I'm finally uh, not being lazy and making a new video for you guys. Uh, I got a bunch of new stuff, so this first one is a uh, Xbox controller for original Xbox. It's blue. Uh, I've been looking for a blue one. And uh, I bought this one because it was uh, $8 and because the thumbsticks on it are, uh, they're not worn at all. It's like brand new. The condition of the controller is brand new overall with no defects on it. There's a little peel right there. I guess that, that's a defect, but uh, I don't really care about the peel on the sticker on the back. It's official Microsoft. It works great. Uh, the rumble works great. I played it the other day. Uh, I, these are really hard to find with these thumbsticks not worn down. With my green one, the thumbstick's really worn down a lot on the left thumbstick. This one I don't use that much, I guess. This one just, I remember it used to not be like that. It's really worn. If you can see the, the dots on the up, down, left, right are gone. This rubber, it's well made, but it does wear down over time when you, if you use it a lot. This one's in like brand new shape. Really glad to have this. Alright, I'm going to move on to my other stuff. I got a bunch of new stuff um, from uh, eBay. I got a Game Boy Advance SP with a charger. It's black. It's the older model. But the screen, the condition of the screen is uh, it's like it was never used. I think he has it's had a screen protector on it. And this has light wear all over it. But the screen is perfect and it works great. Holds a charge really well. Came with three games. Uh, these are all eBay stuff I bought. Um, Cheetah Girls, which I'll I'll sell or, or trade if anyone wants it. Kim Possible 2, which I'll sell or trade. I'm not going to keep those two games. But I'm going to keep the third game and last game that came with it, GT3 Advance. It's a really fun racer. Um, and then I got a couple Game Gear games. But I actually don't have a Game Gear, so if anyone's looking for these, these are up for trade. Road Rash for the Game Gear. And uh, I'm told they do work, so I'm pretty confident they work. Robocop 3. And uh, I found this on eBay for a really good price. Uh, I heard this is a hard to find game, so I went ahead and bought it for $29. This is a Sunset Riders for the Super NES. Apparently this is hard to find, came with a dust cover. A pawn shop guy was selling it on eBay, so that was a good deal. I completed, I, I got Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance in like new condition complete. Uh, got a game cartridge to Mario Advance. I already had this complete in Castlevania, a of Sorrow. I bought the game cartridge for that game. So now all these games are complete. I just need the game cartridge for Mega Man Battle Network 5. I bought this new because this is believe it or not, becoming one of my favorite games of all time. Ace Combat Assault Horizon on the Xbox 360. Now I rented this game when it came out. Played it for just a couple hours because I didn't have much time and totally fell in love with it. Every aspect of this game is just amazing. And I finally, finally bought it. So, I can't recommend this game enough if you're into anything that has to do with flight games, jet games, uh, flying, shooting, action. Uh, if you're familiar with Ace Combat, you're going to love it. It kind of reinvents, reinvents the series, which is a good thing. Um, amazing graphics and probably a perfect sound and music. I might do a review of this because it's just a simply amazing game. I'm wondering if the 3DS version is, is good. Ace Combat Assault Horizon on the 3DS. I think it's called Legacy. Alright, and I got some uh, more Game Boy Advance games. Activision Anthology, very hard to find. I got this for $8.99. This is a rare game. Ton of games on classic games on this from the Atari 2600 days for the Activision, from Activision. Got this for $2, Prince of Persia of the Sands of Time. I didn't like it at first, I totally hated it. But I gave it some more time with my Game Boy and uh, it's actually alright. It's pretty good. I really like Prince of Persia Scenes of Time on PS2 and Xbox. Those are some spectacular titles. And this one's alright. It's okay. It's got a lot of puzzles and, and swinging and action in it. 
and uh, I recommend it. It's a good game, decent game. Okay, um, I got this for super low cheap. Um, this is Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge. It's the box and the game in there, no manual. I think I paid uh, four or five dollars for this total. That was a good deal for a boxed game. This game I played it. I didn't like it. It's not very good. Similar to Pole Position, though. It's a lot like it's a lot like Pole Position actually. I uh, got some more Game Boy games here. Okay. Uh, Bomberman Pocket. These all came in a lot. Pac-Man Color Edition. Now, this one was really dirty. And I couldn't get it to work for a long time, but I cleaned it up really well. Spent a lot of time cleaning this one up. Got it to work. It works great now. 720. Played this a little bit. <clears throat> uh, Hyanky Alien. I heard this is kind of hard to find, an interesting game. Well, it's probably hard to find complete. I don't know about the cartridge only. Uh, Desert Strike. All these work. Marble Madness. Kid Icarus. Um, which is kind of hard to find. I love the Kid Icarus series. And Flipple, which... I don't think I played this yet. I tested it, but I haven't played it. It's from Taito. Classic Taito. Now, all these Game Boy games that I just showed you, they're up for trade. Desert Strike, Flipple, Heineke Alien 720. Um, I'm going to keep Pac-Man, but Bomberman Pocket. And Marvel Madden start for trade if anyone's interested. Keep in mind, I am looking for Mega Man 1 for the NES. Still looking for that game. Okay, um, NES games, I got Kirby's Adventure for a total of $5. Had label, had stickers all over the, all over the front of it. I, I peeled those off, and it's still sticky. Uh, I need to get some goo gone, I guess, for that. I don't have anything else to take it apart, but the label's in great shape. I rubbed on this label a lot, and it didn't come off or anything. It's a really classic game. Good to have this for just 5 bucks. Jaws, okay, these Jaws and Super Pitfall, they actually don't have a, the, the screw on the back is not a security bit screw, it's a different kind of screw, which was weird, and I can't open it up unless I have a tiny screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, which I don't have. So I can't get into these to clean them, I've cleaned them like crazy without opening them. Jaws and Super Pitfall, and they're, they're, they're busted, they won't work at all. There's just, just totally nothing. So if anyone has suggestions, I can get those fixed. Or if, if you want a trade, and I'll give these to you for something, you know, you can have them. Ghosts and Goblins, Metroid, Simon's Quest, Rygar. Now this Metroid yellow label, it's in great shape, good condition, and it works, and it's up for trade. Uh, Rygar, Castle Quest, King's Knight, which I love that game. Dragon Warrior, which I think I have three copies of that game now. It's up for trade if anyone's interested. It's in good shape. Little label neck right there. Right there. And, uh, almost done. Well, I'm getting there. Here's my Aria of Sorrow. Cartridge. Got these two games for $8, or $8 I think. Gumby. The Astro Bot. It's hard to find for Game Boy Advance. And DK King of Swing, lots of fun. Uh, Fatal Frame, I got this from a pawn shop seller for a few dollars. Hard to find Xbox game, glad to have it in my collection. I don't know if I showed this or not. Blade 2, got this from East Starland for Xbox. And a brand new LA Rush, total of $5 I paid for this. Bought Driver San Francisco off eBay, brand new. This is an amazing game too. Much like Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Um, spectacular game. Really good game. If you like the Driver series, you're going to love this game. Highly recommend Driver San Francisco. Alright, um, I got a bunch of NES games that I want to show you guys. And I got this light on up here, so hopefully this will help. I got another copy of Mega Man 2. This is up for trade. If anyone's interested, it's got a little label peel. Once again, reiterate, um, I'm looking for Mega Man 1. 
Duck Hunt, Dash Galaxy, Alien, Asylum, Ghostbusters. These are all new. I got Baseball, Donkey Kong Classics, Fester's Quest, Demon Sword, Gauntlet 2, Ultima. Gauntlet 2 has the manual. Ultima Quest of the Avatar. Faxanadu, Shadowgate with the manual. Godzilla, Eight Eyes, The Rocketeer, Mendel Palace, Venture Island 2, X. Ultima Exodus, Maniac Mansion. This is up for trade. It's in very good condition. If anyone's interested in Maniac Mansion. Uh, Hope Frank Roger Rabbit. Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Ninja Gaiden, which I needed. Metal Gear. Rampage. Adventures of Dino Ricky. And uh, it's hard to see. Life Force. Um, also got... <laughs> it's dark under here, but... Uninvited. Donkey Kong 3 with the manual for $10. That was awesome. BioBilly, this is up for trade. Battletoads and Double Dragon. I think I paid $35 for that total. Got a great price on that. Mega Man 6. Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back, which I finally played. And this is an awesome game. I like Empire Strikes Back. Got a couple new PlayStation games. Ape Escape. At East Orland, and I got Clock Tower. Um, got some new N64 games here. Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Four, uh, four for Duke Nukem Zero Hour and Nuclear Strike 64. I also bought Yoshi Story recently for nine dollars or eight eight dollars. And I don't know if I showed this yet. Banjo Tooie, this is the copy I paid like ten dollars for. Apparently this is a hard to find game for sixty-four. Glad to have this. I played this. This is a really fun game. Uh Banjo Tooie is awesome. I really like Banjo Tooie. Now many of these games that I showed you, like the NES ones, they are up for trade. There's some I don't want to sell, like Rampage. I'll sell I'll trade or sell Dino Ricky. I'll trade those or sell Life Force. Um, these are all in good to very good to like new condition. And, um, you know, keep in mind I am looking for, I am looking for, uh, Mega Man 1 for the NES. Still looking for that game. And no one has offered to trade, but, uh, if you are, then I'm, I'm looking for it. Um, yeah, I think I showed you guys all my new stuff, so, uh. I appreciate you watching and a happy gaming.